Hey everyone, this is Mary Demuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. Today we're in Proverbs chapter 29 and we're going to read the whole chapter in the English Standard Version of the Bible. Some of you have asked, well, why do you use different versions? And that has to do with copyright. You can't have too many um, in a row (laughs) versions uh, like that. And so that's why we do that. And it's kind of fun because you get to experience different versions of the Bible. So here we go in the ESV. He who is often reproved yet stiffens his neck will suddenly be broken beyond healing. When the righteous increase, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rule, the people groan. He who loves wisdom makes his father glad, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. By justice, a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. A man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet. An evil man is ensnared in his transgression, but a righteous man sings and rejoices. A righteous man knows the rights of the poor. A wicked man does not understand such knowledge. Scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away wrath. If a wise man has an argument with a fool, the fool only rages and laughs, and there is no quiet. Bloodthirsty men hate one who is blameless and seek the life of the upright. A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. If a ruler listens to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. The poor man and the oppressor meet together. The Lord gives light to the eyes of both. If a king faithfully judges the poor, his throne will be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. When the wicked increase, transgression increases, but the righteous will look upon their downfall. Discipline your son and he will give you rest. He will give delight to your heart. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. By mere words, a servant is not disciplined, for though he understands, he will not respond. Do you see a man who is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Whoever pampers his servant from childhood will in the end find him his his heir. A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. The partner of a thief hates his own life. He hears the curse but discloses nothing. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Many seek the face of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that a man gets justice. An unjust man is an abomination to the righteous, but one whose way is straight is an abomination to the wicked. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, um, wow, what a great chapter of your word. And thank you so much that your word is able to divide between soul and spirit and the intentions of the heart and here it's all just laid out so perfectly Um, especially verse one i know that there are people out there who have had this person in their life or maybe they've been this person he who is often reproved but stiffens his neck will suddenly be broken beyond healing lord we don't want to be that person so lord if we have been constantly reproved for something or talked to about something and yet stiffened our neck lord help us instead to get on our knees and repent Lord, um, we pray for our land that we live in that the righteous would increase because this will cause the people to rejoice. I know that the people groan when the wicked rule. And so, Lord, would you bring righteous people into positions of authority and power? Um, Lord, help us to be people of justice, who love justice, who love to see righteousness in the land. Lord, help us not to flatter people, but just to speak the truth in love. Um, Help us to understand that there are poor in our midst and to love them well. Lord, thank you for verse 8. Scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away from wrath. Lord, we don't want to be scoffers. We don't want to set aflame our lives. We want to have restraint. Lord, um, we don't want to also, verse 11, another really great verse about our mouth. A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. That's how I want to camp today in this final bit of prayer, Lord, that um, we would not give full vent to our wrath, our anger, our bitterness. Um, Lord, maybe we process it in a journal, but we don't unleash it upon others. 
And Lord, help us to quietly hold back that and to entrust our lives and our hearts and our relationships and the broken parts all to you because you sit on the throne. Us trying to control everything does not help. Um, Instead, you are the one who's in control, your sovereign rule. Help us to rest in that, to give you our burdens. You will take them. And I thank you that your shoulders, shoulders are big enough to carry our burdens. We lay them down now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a blessing to me. And I just, again, I commend you for spending this little bit of time every day in prayer um, to start off your day well. I hope today is full of worship and gratitude. And um, may you uh, encounter someone that you can show the love of Jesus to.